Hey there everybody, uh, Phil Kurth here and I just wanted to put together a video to show you how you can use the relevancy search plugin um, with data that you've stored in custom database tables using the ACF custom database tables plugin. So by the end of this video you should be able to visit a gist that I give you, um, copy a, a, a snippet like a boilerplate snippet drop it in your installation, customize it accordingly, and, and then have relevancy index your custom uh, custom database tables data. Okay, so um, to give you some context, uh, I've got a test installation, and I've got a custom post type uh, of book, and in there I've got three books, and these three books have um, just a few basic fields set up with ACF. Um, I'm laying them out here using the WP Admin Columns Pro plugin, but if we go and click on uh, book three here, scroll on down to the book meta table, oh, sorry, the book meta um, field group, you'll see that we've got two fields in there, book name, book year. Um, they're obviously populated in all three posts, but if we click through to the field group and we scroll on down to the bottom, we'll see that this field group is also mapped to a table uh, called WP underscore book meta. And then if I look at my database and we'll see that the data is there in the WP underscore book meta plugin. So that's cool. Okay, um, the other thing to point out is that we also have the Relevancy Premium plugin installed. Um, I believe this will work with the free version, but um, we're going to be using Premium for this video. And if I go to uh, Relevancy Settings, we'll see that the post type of book, okay, it's been marked for indexing. And um, if we go ahead and build the index, um, so those these will basically appear in the search results now. So um, to give you an idea there, uh, if I were to go and search for um, just book, okay, so in our search results, we're going to see all three of our um, post, our book posts. Um, and the reason being is that because book is in the standard WordPress title. So um, just in case we miss that when we're looking at books, so I've just got book three, book two, and book one, and they're in the, the title fields, and, and Relevancy knows about these fields by default. Okay. Um, if, however, I was to type in uh, Danger Mouse, or in this next tab, you'll see we've got 1984. If I run that one again, you'll see that we've got zero results. Um, now, if we look at our book list again, just to give you an idea of what I'm, why I'm searching for those things, Danger Mouse is a field on book three, and 1984 is a field on the um, other two books. Okay, so obviously we want to get to the stage where we're seeing one result here, and in this tab we're seeing two. Um, so fortunately, it's actually really, really easy to do with um, uh, with relevancy. It's really just a case of telling relevancy. Um, that this data exists, and it's 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 not so much telling relevancy of the 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 custom database table, but what we're doing is we're taking the data from that table and we're kind of adding it to the post content that is indexed by relevancy, and this is all supported in in relevancy out of the box. And if you head over to relevancy.com/slash/knowledge-base/slash/indexing/additional-content, um, you'll find an article with some handy snippets and some information around it. It's a very short article. It'll take you like maybe three minutes to read it, not even. Um, so what we're going to do is we're basically just going to start by grabbing one of these snippets, and I'll just grab the top one. Um, you can read on to figure out the difference between the two, um, but I'll just grab the top one, and I'm going to come across to our editor, and I've just set up a um, a plugin. All right, so you can obviously do this via a plugin, via an MU plugin, or via your functions.php file, but um, I've just got here in a plugin just for for illustration purposes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to paste the snippet in here. All right, we'll create a little space. And um, what you're going to notice is that we're pulling in the, DB, the WPDB global object, and then we're running a query on there to get. So essentially, what it's doing is it's it's getting one one piece of data, um, and that data is called data from a table called extra table. Okay. Um, now, this is not going to be ideal for us because with our tables, we're probably going to be wanting to map multiple fields. All right, we want uh, relevancy to know about multiple fields within our data set. So what we're going to do is uh, change this code a little bit. And I'm just going to paste in this over here. Right? So I'm just going to go keep it nice and quick. Um, so what I've done is I'm going to replace this with this snippet here. OK, um, so basically um, we're still doing the same thing. We're using the WPDB global object 
but we're changing our query to use the get results method and we're selecting so if we look at the SQL here we're selecting book name and book year from the WP book meta table where the post ID is equal to post ID now to give you a little bit of context of what's happening here relevancy is while it's indexing it's basically um, well it's passing the individual posts through a filter through this filter here um, and giving us the opportunity to append information to uh, the post content because it indexes the, the the content of that post so what we're doing is we're basically um, what we're doing here is we're querying our custom fields from our custom table okay so our custom table do book meta and we're querying whatever fields here um, and then we're simply using this little block statement here um, to append those those field values as um, a space separated string okay to the content so essentially what we're doing is we're just taking the data and appending it to the content returning that content and now relevancy knows about um, uh, the data in our custom tables and for those that might be wondering it is in fact possible to use ACF's API functions in here so instead of doing all of that you could and some of you might do this just because you don't like writing SQL and that's fine so you can use um, ACF's get field uh, API function to um, basically sorry I can't type and talk at the same time so to basically uh, get the, the data in in the field append it to the content and then return that content and you can do that um, obviously with with multiple fields so here we go so we've got uh, book here all right now this will work it'll work just fine um, but what you might find is if you've got a lot of fields like let's say you go to the point where you you know you've got 10, 10 or so fields and you've got a lot of posts on site this approach could slow down the indexing process um, just because each call to get field is making database calls okay the advantage to doing it this way and this way I do recommend you do it this way the advantage to doing it this way is that you um, <clears throat> you greatly reduce the number of database calls so this is kind of like this is an n plus one scenario so if you've got let's say you get a thousand posts and you've got 10 data points on each one or 10 columns in your in your custom table um, you're going to be making well 10 times a thousand okay so that's 10 times a thousand uh, database calls so we're looking at 10,000 database calls in addition to however many database calls are going to be made um, before you make that for the post meta whereas with this one it's going to make a thousand additional database calls and um, so when you when the number of posts and the number of fields start to stack up you're going to see a performance difference um, look if, if in doubt start with this like you know it's not a public problem and you're not going to be slowing down your users if in doubt start with this and then when it becomes a performance problem you can move to this so um, so I'm just going to save this now because we've got the query in place or we've got the filter in place and what we're going to do is we're going to come across to our, our relevancy settings and I'm going to go to indexing and what I'm going to do is I'm going to build the index again all right so this wipes out its existing indexes tells you here and, and goes and re-indexes all the posts um, and obviously it's going to be passing the posts through our custom filter so now when I come over to our search here and I run the search for danger mouse I'm going to see the post for danger mouse okay so that's returning in the search results and if I come over here and I run a search for 1984 I'm going to see our two posts that have the year 1984 okay so obviously you can like probably see how simple this is to map it to, to, or to join the two plugins together um, you can obviously use this for data outside of the ACF CDT plugin um, but hopefully this little video helps a few people um, when trying to to get their their custom database tables working with a search plugin